Hello friends, in this video, we're going to share with you six of the things we do to prepare for Chinese New Year here in Taiwan. Why six? Well, six is a lucky number in Chinese. 六六大顺. Cool. Today we're at Dihua Jie where you get to see all kinds of New Year goodies called Nian Huo. Buying these New Year's goodies is called Ban Nian Huo, and each thing that you buy has some sort of special meaning to it. So we just bought candy, and now we're going to buy Gua Zi. Gua Zi is sunflower seeds or watermelon seeds. In Taiwanese, it's called Gui Ji. Jia Gui Ji. Gui He Li Ji. You eat Gua Zi, you're going to live a good life. These are Chun Lian or couplets. Couplets are these auspicious saying on red paper that you can hang on your doors or paste on the outside of your doors or in your house that actually brings good luck. A lot of times you hang up two and they rhyme with each other or they have special word play. Since it's going to be the year of the ox, our couplets have the word for ox, niu, in them. On the left, niu zhuan hong yun, place on the homophone to mean twist the luck to be grand. On the right, niu lai fu zhi means ox comes, fortune arrives. Fu dao Fu dao Us adults have to prepare these red envelopes. Hong ba. We put money in it for children. And the money is called Ya Sui Qian. It sees our children through a very peaceful new year. And don't forget, the money has to be brand new and crisp. We Today we're making dumplings. Jiaozi with my friend Andrea. Zhao Zhao Shou. Hi. <laughs> Why do we make dumplings and eat dumplings around the New Year? Cause they're fun to eat. <laughs> oh, very good answer. Dumplings are in the shape of old Chinese money called yuan bao. Yuan bao. Mm -hmm. So when you eat a lot of them, that means you'll be making a lot of money in the following year. Whoa, this is. Uh... A modern art dumpling. There will be an instructional video in the end card, so you can go there to learn how to make dumplings yourself at home, just like Andrea. Andrea, how about it? How about it? After dinner, it's time for another New Year's preparation activity: cleaning the house. Cleaning the house symbolizes sweeping away and throwing out the bad luck of the previous year. We also avoid cleaning the house on New Year's Day in order to avoid sweeping away the good luck brought by the New Year. Like with cleaning, we definitely want to avoid cutting hair during the New Year's period. That's why hairdressers get a huge rush in the weeks leading up to Chinese New Year. Hair is fa in Chinese, which sounds like the word for prosper, fa. It is said that cutting your fa in the New Year period, you're likely to cut off your prosperity. That's why we'd better go get our hair cut before Chinese New Year. Well, guys, that was our first day of preparing for Chinese New Year. If you want to learn how to make the dumplings that we made today, you can check out the video in the end card here. Our Chinese New Year preparation does not end today. Tomorrow we'll be paying our bills, buying some fruit, and buying some new clothes for the new year. But for now, I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to go to bed. Bye-bye.